Brad Fields found out Tuesday that he'll spend the rest of his life in prison in connection with the death of Gabby Barrett. Armed with the best pictures they could find, Stephanie Barrett, Gabby's aunt, said the things that happened to the little girl were a shock to her and everyone else. This is how we saw her last, Barrett said. We did not know any of this was going on. Gabby was loved. She definitely knew how to light up someone's day. In January, Sumter Township Police found Gabby's body in a mobile home. She had been tortured and beaten, and 911 was called 40 minutes after she died, according to police. She stood in her kitchen burning and screaming in agony when her grandmother jumped out the window to save herself. These events are embedded in this disease memory. They surfaced off and on, which leaves her struggling with uncontrolled anger and emotional disconnection even from people she's supposed to care for, such as her daughter, who died. In this case, she had a choice as to whether she could emulate the people who abused her in her past or ensure she didn't become them. She chose to emulate them as a victim of child abuse myself. I can't imagine a scenario where that would excuse me from physically abusing my own children. Judge Vonda Evans had the final word at the hearing. She didn't show any more restraint than the prosecutor. Your beautiful daughter Gabby was a sacrifice. You gave that bum bread to fulfill his sick and demonic sense of love and control you and that monster systematically destroying this beautiful child's spirit body, but never her soul. You allow him to put your child in a garbage bag when she wet herself to give her drugs. Your response was, Brad, be her ass. What crime could this precious child commit? That would cause such severe punishment. None. You were more concerned about feeding Brand the bum than your home child. After he showed you a video of him torturing your child a garbage bag. Your response was, do you want some McDonald's? You are never a mother to your child. You are female breeders who neglected your child. For the love of a bum named Bread, unfortunately, she didn't just neglect her child. She actively abused Gabby, causing her death. Judge Evans disagreed with the prosecutor about his theory that Gabby may have saved Zoe from a similar fate. Though, in the animal kingdom, male lions only kill cubs related to that are not related to them. Then they impregnate the lions with his offspring. This logic was practiced in the home of Brad the Bomb. He, with your aid, killed your child and spared Zoe. Which is another word alone. I'm afraid I have to disagree with the prosecutor. She never was there. Huh? Not Zoe because they wanted to get rid of the problem gathered on New Year's Eve. You both sent out visual cars of Zoe Brand, and you Happy New Year. The person who was missing was Gabby because you knew that Gabby wasn't going to make it another year. There were no plans to have Gabby as a part of your new life, and you assisted this monster and drugs and the drowning of your beautiful precious gift. That's right, on December 31st of 2017. Diaz and Fields sent out New Year's cards with a picture of them with Zoe. Gabby was absent from the photo. It was almost a premonition of what was to come the following day in the Diaz Fields home. It fits as we embark on this holiday season that you and Brett are where you both belong behind bars like the animals you are. This time the court is going to commit you to the Michigan Department of Corrections. But no less than 30 years, no more than 60 years people agreed to dismiss. Count 145 and 6 reported 330 days. Credit Candace Diaz was sentenced to 30 to 60 years in prison. The earliest she can be released from prison is 2048. She will be 55 years old. The state took Zoe, and information about her situation is sealed. She's certainly in a better environment. If you like this show, please subscribe or leave me a support comment. I'm always trying to increase my content and improve its quality, and your support will help me do that. Thank you so much for your attention and participation. I appreciate any help you can provide.